Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create the tables quickly within Excel. So table become really important factor when you are trying to present your data and make it more presentable. So say for example, this is the sheet of data that we have. And if you want to present it, it's, it's not very good looking, right? So if we format this into a table format quickly, that will be more presentable and will look more appealing, right? So how we can do it? So basically there is a quick way you can select the cells that you want to convert to the table. Um, then, so for example, here I have selected all this from one to 13 and up to this. So I've selected all of these rows and columns and then in the top, you will see format as table, right? So select this drop down here and you will get all the options to format this particular selected data into table. So you can select any of the themes that are available here. I can select the light, the dark with, with the dark, you know, header. So let's say, for example, I'll select this green uh, table, right? So this style, and then it will pop me the create table pop up wherein it has already already selected the rows and columns, which will be included in the table. Now check this box that if your table has the header, right? So it will be by default check because you see this first row here is the header, right? So it is checked, click on OK, and you will see that particular style has been applied. The design table design has been applied. Okay. Now, now, if I want to change this design, right, what I can do is I can simply go to select and then select this drop down here or select this drop down here to again open these themes here, right? So the styles here. So I can select any of these styles. So if say, for example, I want to have this blue style with uh, different stripes there, I can choose accordingly. Okay. So let me keep it light and light green with different rows there. Okay. So that's how quickly you can convert your data into the table. Now, formatting of the table, right? So basically here you will see that the alignment is not pretty good, right? So some of them are left aligned, some of them are light, right aligned. So alignment of the data is not good. How you can change it? Simply select all of it, go to home and quickly align them into all centers, right? So you can align using these alignment options here. So we have aligned them properly now. It's all in center. Now, can, once the table or once your data is converted into a table, you will see these filter options to filter the data successfully, right? Now, this table looks, looks more presentable and filtering the data within the table becomes really easy as well, okay? Now, how you can, again, change this table into the old format, right? Or if you do not want any of the formatting for the table, how we can undo this? So basically select this. First option is you just keep undoing the changes that we have done. So control Z, control Z if you haven't saved, obviously. Uh, the second option is, say for example, if I change this again to table, uh, the second option is in the table design, you just select convert to range, click on it, and then it will be converted into a normal range. It won't be table anymore. So the formatting will still be there, but the table, uh, table style will be, you know, gone, right? So all the filters and everything will be gone. And then you can again, you know, change it to, to uh, normal data. So basically uh, I can just format paint, just copy one of the cell, which is not formatted and then format paint this whole table, right? So this way you can basically undo the work that you have done in this table, but we want to format it as a table. So let's quickly do it the same format and then learn about the filter options that are there. Okay, I'll center align everything again. And then let's learn different filter options. So once you have converted into a table, how you can use the filters. So basically we have these filters that are shown to filter the rows within the table. We simply select the drop down here and you will see by default, all these filters are being selected, right? So everything at the moment is selected and here we have option for the text filter. So Excel automatically identifies what type of data is there within the cells and it will give you an option to filter accordingly. So if it would have been number, then it will give you option to filter based on the number. So with the text filter, I can specify if the text, you know, sort of equals something. So if I say uh, the text equals mid market, right? 
and then click OK, you'll see that it has filtered the values that are matching that criteria. OK, to remove the filter, click on this icon here and then click on clear filter from the segment. Right. As you notice that once we apply the filter, the icon that is showing as drop down, it changes to the funnel icon. OK, to quickly do the filter, you can just deselect some of the values. So for example, I want to select all the values that are displayed or that has that are basically having government as the channel, right? So I'll deselect all, okay? Just select government and click OK and it will select all the values or the rows that have that government as a segment, okay? I can do it for multiple filters. So basically government and then say based on the country, I can select this drop down here and I want to filter only uh, Canada, okay? So you'll see I have applied multiple filters and you will see the filter icon have changed to the funnel icon, right? So that means that the filter has been applied and in the left hand side as well, you'll see that the, the, uh, the, the row or the icon here little bit has been changed, okay? So let me remove this. So I'll clear this filter and I'll clear the filter from the segment as well. If we go to the date, right? So date is basically, you know, differently formatted, but that's okay. It's just, you know, the data here, the dummy data. So don't worry too much about it. Now, if I click on the filter here, you will see that we are getting number filter. So it's smart enough to identify that there are numbers and then we can basically filter the data based on the number. So if say for example, I want to see the, or I want to filter the data based on equal to, right? Or less than, greater than, I can basically select all of that or top 10, right? Or the average. So if I say top 10 items, then click okay. Then we'll select the top 10 item, right? Or if I specify some rules there, okay? So say for example, I want to filter the values wherein the values are greater than Say for example, 41974, okay? Anything greater than 41974 or 41609, let's say 41609, I want to filter, okay? So I just say from this drop down, select greater than and 41609, click OK, and it will list all the values that are greater than 41609. Now, say for example, if we go to this filter again, right? So I have filtered out the values that are greater than 41609. I can create multiple queries there with the AND and OR operators, okay? So say for example, I want to filter all the values that are greater than 41609 or equal to, right? So for example, or equal to 41609, right? So I want anything which is 41609 and greater than 41609, okay? So I can specify the OR clause there and equals and specify the statements there, okay? So click OK and you will see anything which is 41609 along with that anything greater has been filtered out successfully, right? So these are some of the key steps or key details that you need to remember when you are trying to filter the values, right? If you go to the product, we can specify text filters with different options or we can also specify the custom filter. If we go to the custom filter, it will open me the same window which we specified or which we you know open so basically if i go to the text filter begins with right so it will basically specify the begins with or if i go and open the custom filter it will specify you know or you can specify the details here right so i can specify whether equal less than etc and then write the details of the query accordingly Right. So these are some of the key details basically for the text filter, for the number filter and to quickly filter the values, you can simply deselect all of it and say, for example, I want to select only three countries out of the list. I can check that and click OK and the filter will be applied specific on that particular column and the values will be filtered successfully. All right. So this is briefly how you can basically format the data within your sheet as the table, right? Which will be, you know, really good looking along with the filters. And then you can filter the data as per the needs and analyze the data for your project. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.